everybody, it's Emily from ARG Schooling, and today I have an exciting announcement about Build Your Library. So I know I've mentioned it a little bit here and there that I'm revamping the science in the middle grades of Build Your Library. I previously have used Elemental Science, which I know is technically now considered to be a neutral program. So I wanted to find something a little more secular. So I'm going to be using Real Science Odyssey in grades 5 and 6. I haven't decided what 7 will be yet because there isn't anything in Real Science Odyssey for that grade level as of yet, but for now I'm focusing on grade 5 and 6. Today I'm here to tell you that I have completed the grade 5 science and it is going to be ready for purchase as of the airing of this video. So that's very exciting. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we're going to be doing. So I will link Real Science Odyssey down below so you can get a feel for what that program looks like if you've never heard of it or used it. I'm going to be using that and rounding it out with literature to make it a little more literary and living books in style. So I'm just going to show you briefly the books that we'll be using in Grade 5's Biology. We're going to be reading Invincible Microbe, Tuberculosis, and The Never-Ending Search for a Cure by Jim Murphy. This book is fantastic. It's a biography of tuberculosis, and it goes through the history of the disease and how people have tried to cure it over the years. So it's a lot of information about like how science has evolved over time to learn how to treat illnesses. So it's really very interesting. The pictures are all like black and white style, either photographs or like wood cuttings, and it's just a really great resource. We'll be reading Genetics from DNA to Designer Dogs by Kathleen Simpson. This is a National Geographic book. It's pretty straightforward. It covers pretty much everything you'd want to know about genetics and DNA, and it covers GMOs in food. It covers cloning, so it's a very solid resource. Lots of beautiful photography, and it's just a really great book. For when we're studying the human body, we'll be reading Blood and Guts, a Working Guide to Your Own Insides by Linda Allison. I really like the brown paper school books. I have a couple here in my home library, and I happened to have this when I was looking for a human body resource. I think this is probably the best one I know of at the moment. It's a really great resource. It covers a lot of information. It gives lots of little projects you can do if you have a child who really wants to try things out and do more this is a great book to use. We'll be reading Evolution, The Story of Life on Earth by Jay Hosler. I love this book so much. <laughs> I really, really like Jay Hosler's writing in general. He has this way of taking a topic and making it not only interesting, um, it's already interesting, but making it entertaining as well. I love how he explains evolution in this book through the viewpoint of these like strange little alien creatures and they're studying our planet and they're trying to understand how life evolved on Earth so that they can help protect their own race of little alien creatures on their own planet. And it's just the way they, they have their little side banter and the way it's explained through them, it's just fantastic. And I really think this is a great book for all ages. I got a lot out of it. I think anyone who wants to know more about evolution. I think this book is a great way to teach the topic in, 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 in an entertaining way. It's also, it's a graphic novel and the illustrations are so cute. I think this is a great resource. It is a little bit heavy so if you're trying to read this with a younger child you're going to want to read it to them. Don't just hand this book to a nine or ten year old. They'll need a little help getting through it I think unless they are really really strong readers because there is just a lot of information, but it's such a good resource, I had to include it. And I'm also using the book Aliens from Earth, When Animals and Plants Invade Other Ecosystems, and this is by Mary Batten, and this book is so beautiful. It has gorgeous illustrations on every single page, and the information is solid, it's a very good resource, but just the illustrations are so stinking pretty. I love books like this. They're just so beautiful to look at. It's all about how animals can 
and plants can cause havoc in other ecosystems where they don't belong, where they are oftentimes brought there by something else. And this is just a great book. And then finally, I have The Tree of Life, The Incredible Biodiversity of Life on Earth by Rochelle Strauss. I was excited to find this because it's very difficult to find books written for children about classification. There's not a lot out there. So this book, it's exactly that. This covers classification and, and it's also fantastically beautiful. It is so nicely illustrated. The illustrations in this are just spectacular. I love books like that, that you can just kind of pour over as you're reading them. And that will cover the books to go right along with Real Science Odyssey. I'm also including a project at the end of the year. Real Science Odyssey is only 32 weeks. So that leaves us with a few weeks open and I was debating whether to just leave it like that and then I thought, you know what, I can't so I'm going to I'm gonna add one more project. So I'm including a project at the end called the Literary Biology Project where I'm giving the students a choice of four books. The books I am using for that are The Tarantula in My Purse and 172 Other Wild Pets by G. Craighead George all about her family's experience adopting wild animals. Under the Weather Stories about climate change by Tony Bradman, and this is several short stories all about children dealing with climate change. The Last Wild by Piers Torday, and this is a, a novel all about um, a little boy who had a horrible experience as a child and he can't speak anymore. And the only way he can communicate is through these animals and when they come to ask him for help to save them because their environment is being destroyed and they need someone to help them. And finally, the book A Girl of the Limber Lost by Jean Stratton Porter. It's just a very like old-fashioned kind of beautiful story about a girl exploring the wild. And these books are all optional, but I encourage your child to choose one for the project. I try to choose books that kind of was a nice broad range of types of stories so that there's something for everybody. So those are all the books that we'll be using for Grade 5's Real Science Odyssey Biology in Build Your Library. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope if you're going to use Grade 5 that you enjoy what I've done with the science. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. If you want the update and you've already bought Grade 5, just let me know and I'm happy to send you the update. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Happy reading. Bye.